In today's world, you can't eliminate risk, but the good news is you can surround it, and no one can help you do that quite like G4S. With legal recreational cannabis less than a year away in Canada, there are numerous questions that security professionals may be required to answer or at least have a working body of knowledge they can refer to. Jeff Hanna, owner and principal of security and risk management consultancy JH & Associates, says the legal definition of marijuana is coming into focus in Canada and there are already strict guidelines for its production for medical use. I think there is a tendency for people to want to believe that it is an illegal grey area but the, the short answer is that it's not. It's, uh, it is a controlled substance under the Controlled Drugs and Substance Act. The regulations that we have with regard to cultivation and sale uh, are, are pretty well defined. While there are some multiple distribution channels right now, there really is only one legal dist channel for distributing uh, cannabis legally, and that's through the ACMPR uh, License Producer Program. The ACMPR is a regulation to the Controlled Drugs and Substances Act, and it basically provides a framework for businesses to legally cultivate, process, and sell cannabis. So the ACMPR has a number of different sections. Uh, it deals with uh, quality assurance, it deals with uh, record keeping, uh, sanitation of the facilities, and security. And the goal of the regulation is, is very clear. It's to make sure that they, these businesses can uh, produce a clean, uh, quality assured product in a, in a secure way that keeps pro cannabis from being diverted uh, to youth and uh, into the illicit market. Alex Goldstein, Principal Consultant at GV Solutions and Consulting, says there are several considerations for employers and security professionals when legal recreational marijuana becomes a reality. I think it will be interesting to see uh, the employer reactions to uh, recreational marijuana when it's legalized. I think there will be uh, possibility of quantities that will be allowed uh, and employers will need to tailor security and human resources policies to address uh, these substances being brought into the workplace. Whether they're going to be allowed um, or, or outright prohibited in the workplace is yet to be determined. Um, I'm sure in the case of medical marijuana um, or marijuana used for medical purposes, there may be some allowance, uh, but that yet uh, is yet to be determined. Uh, in addition, uh, security guards, security managers, and, and those responsible for security in facilities will need to have a, a broad understanding of what marijuana is, how to spot what marijuana is, and what actions to take that are appropriate. Hannah adds that some existing workplace policies regarding narcotics and alcohol may suffice when cannabis becomes legal. What we know about the Cannabis Act that's coming, and this is just from what's been released, is there's, there's probably going to be a, a possession limit of, uh, of 30 grams of cannabis. Um, as far as cannabis for employees, we've had uh, a, a framework for dealing with employees who are in possession of intoxicants like alcohol, employees who have to take prescription medications, safety implications, HR implications. Most companies should be able to deal with the uh, introduction of, of cannabis into that scenario within the existing policies that they have. Mm -hmm.